welcome back as we take a techie turn. The Cape Town e Prix, the first Formula E race held in sub-Saharan Africa, is here and it's got everyone a buzz and with good reason. It's taking place this weekend in the Mother City. I actually drove some of the course. It's mind-blowing. Our tech guru Grant Hines joins us to chat about the technology behind the sport. And of course, Kelvin van Alinda, the guy who is going to be in the technology, taking part, has stuck around so we can test his technical knowledge. No, we're not going to do that. He's got a technical team, uh, but we didn't want to look silly and know nothing, so we asked Grant to do a bit of investigating for us. Uh, but there is some really interesting tech here because this is kind of the launch of a new phase. Yes. So let's chat out. Blow our I minds, think I think friend. one of the things that I want, would like to preface this with is that this is a very important sport. Yes. Uh, and the fact that it's not just about racing cars around the track. It's about energy. It's about energy, it's about the technology and the, the finances that go into this energy. And by supporting Formula E, we're going to be supporting how we use, we know, we're South Africans, yeah. we know how much electricity <laughs> and electrical technology means to us. And by investing that into research, it's extremely important. It's, it's our future. Um, the first question I wanted to ask you is how wide the cars are after seeing the track because that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, <laughs> they, they're generally actually very narrow, the cars. It's a Formula, Formula car, so um, yeah, when I'm sitting in there, literally my, my elbows are tucked in, so it's, it's very narrow. Um, so from what I'm used to, yeah, in these street circuits, it actually fits quite okay. <laughs> oh, man, I've, I've felt claustrophobic just looking at it. Um, so, so give us a bit of background here. How did this, because it is a, a sign of the times, but it feels like it's speeding up very quickly. So where did Formula E kind of originate? Um, that's a very difficult question. I, I think it originated mostly from the idea that we need to start re looking into renewables mm -hmm. and into battery-powered yeah. cars. Um, and a lot of the research and technology from Formula One is petrol-based. And that has actually trickled down into uh, consumer vehicles. So a lot of the, the technology that we have in our cars on the road right now originated from Formula One yeah. and, the, and the discoveries and the, and the research that they're having there. By making sure that we've got a race that's purely electric, means that the electric car, the future of the electric the car is now getting tons of investment and that will trickle down. And a lot of people may not believe in electric cars now, but a lot of people didn't believe in petrol cars when yeah. they first came out. And 50 years from now, the technology that's being researched today in these races are gonna be applied. The cars that our children are gonna be driving are gonna be applied from the technology and the research that happens. Absolutely love it. Uh, what's the fastest you've been able to go in one of these beasts? Um, well, the top speed is 330 k's an hour. Um, so these cars are sure. very quick. They have the capabilities of, I mean, it's, it's insane. For me, it, it's mind-blowing to think that this, this electric power is instant. It's so hard to, to describe to the general public if you haven't driven an electric car. Yeah, it's, it's not like a typical uh, engine which requires revs to build up. It slowly kicks in. These, these cars are instant. Um, on the racetracks here, obviously the tracks are very small, so we'll reach this weekend 250 k's an hour in Cape Town, mm. which doesn't probably sound like a lot, but <laughs> oh, when you're doing that in, the, in a space... No, it means the stadium is there and then it's here. <laughs> that's it. That's pretty much yeah. how it works. So, wow, that is crazy. Yeah, the, 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 just to give you an idea, so the weight of the car is like just under a, a, a ton, so it's 900 kilograms roughly, and the, the size of the battery is 385 kilograms. So that's a huge percentage. Just any yeah. half of the actual vehicle is the battery. And uh, we were just chatting now off camera about uh, house inverters. A lot of people have about five kilowatt, three kilowatt, five kilowatt house inverters at home. What how much is, is the, uh, how much so is we're the... around uh, 30 to 40? <laughs> I don't know the exact number, but I So if you have a 40 kil you can run like four, one of these cars, the amount of energy that they're pushing out can run like four houses for four and a half hours each. So I don't know what the <laughs> math is on that. But like, yeah, that's roughly, it's crazy. Yeah. That's how, how much power yeah. that gets you yeah. to that. So there's at least a second-hand sales channel for these cars if we yeah. need it in this country. <laughs> uh, but the, the crazy thing is we, we all are talking about it. So I get what you're saying about us needing to understand this. And of course, we're starting to see these amazing strategic partnerships emerge and these new opportunities. Why have you been so excited about this, about Formula E, bro? Well, like I said, it's, it's, it's a chance for brands and, and companies to get behind the technology of the future. Um, petrol uh, is probably not going to go away anytime soon, but there's a lot of interest in uh, renewable energy. And it doesn't, just because we haven't harnessed the power of renewable energy, the main reason that is the case is because a lot of research, energy, and time has gone into 
uh, uh, oil-based resources. And now we have the opportunity through Formula E to, to reinvest in uh, renewables and the power that electricity has and, and, and carve a future for ourselves with and it. I'm just thinking, surely like the recharge element here, we're going to be doing things faster and that's going to trickle down to us. The battery sizes, the because you want to get that battery size down, right? You don't want to have like a 385 uh, kilogram battery. <laughs> that will slowly drop. And that technology not only affects our cars, but again in South Africa, phones, it affects anything. our phones, it affects the houses with our solar panels and our inverters. All that technology will be cheaper, more accessible, and better. Um, Calvin, one last question. What's the scariest part of the track? Um, just before Beach Road, so it's turn eight for us. We come down there, as I said, the top speed around 250 kph. On drivers Beach Road. are a little bit, I have to say, we are a bit nervous, but... You know uh, there's a speed yeah. camera there, right? Yeah. You have to go 50 k <laughs> <We're laughs> an hour. It's 50 k an hour. Uh, we might just turn off the lights <laughs> for that one. Calvin, all the best of luck, my friend. Thanks so much. I know it's just going to be an amazing experience, so save it every second. We are there for this. Oh, Formula E hits Cape Town. Woo!